what is deep learning then? Everyone is talking about that. We have seen many news articles about it. It's nothing but it's a subfield of machine learning again. So it's kind of crazy, but uh, there is one algorithm in machine learning called neural networks. And this was able to extract many more patterns than the traditional machine learning algorithms can. And that's why deep learning is successful. Nothing more than that. It's just one form of machine learning algorithm. Like a decision tree, neural networks is one other algorithm. So what does a neural network look like? Uh, these are uh, what we call as a neurons. The circles are called as neurons. And these are the connections between neurons. Neurons is a concept borrowed from human neurons. I'm going to show you how it is. So for the same example, like humidity and temperature, we now have a layer called as a hidden layer. This is the input layer where we get the values of humidity temperature and we get a prediction called uh, rain. What we, what we have here is hidden layers. And because of these hidden layers, we're able to extract many more patterns of input features. I'm going to show you an example of how deep these hidden layers can be. You can have multiple hidden layers like this. So as I was mentioning, it was borrowed from human neuron. A human neuron looks like this. This is a nucleus of neuron and these are the dendrites. So what happens in human uh, nucleus is whenever there is an uh, input coming from dendrite, there is an electric impulse and this gets excited. When it gets excited, it passes on that information through axon and passes on to other neurons. So that's what a neural network in human brain is. We are replicating the same thing here. This is a neuron. It gets an excitement from one of the input and it passes on to other neurons. So to give you an example of how complex neural networks can be, the deep learning, uh, each of this, each of these blocks, uh, these blocks you are seeing is a layer, is a layer like this. And there are many more, uh, like in each layer you have multiple such neurons. And this is a model called Inception V3 by Google. And uh, this is just to give an example of how complex it can get. The deep learning, what, what we call deep learning is nothing but if it's a deeper architecture, it's called as a deep learning. This is what we call as a neural network. If you have more hidden layers, we call it deep learning. A cat killed. Average is dead.